Longtime Hollywood actor Kevin Costner has appeared on screen for decades now, but when he isn't busy working, he has some beautiful properties he can retreat to. Not only has he lived in a beautiful and remote 160 acre ranch in Aspen, Colorado, he also owns 17 acres of Oceanside property in Carpentria, California. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. At the very peak of his career in the 1980s and 1990s, there wasn't a bigger movie star in the world than Kevin Costner. Not only was he one of the highest paid actors ever, he also directed the Academy Award winning picture Dances with Wolves. Tell me how they would behave, you know, that he would push a button and the wolf would come over here. It was 10 days over schedule, uh, 30 days into the movie. And, uh, Inspired by a chance encounter with actor Richard Burton, Costner pursued his lifelong secret dream to become a movie star and made his way up through Hollywood the hard way by taking acting classes, holding odd jobs, and auditioning constantly. It would all pay off when he was cast in his breakthrough role as the legendary Elliot Ness in the 1987 film The Untouchables. Three years later, Costner was holding the Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Picture, having produced, starred, and directed Dances with Wolf. Costner was inspired to create this classic film after having spent a considerable amount of time roughing it in the wild while living in his gorgeous 160-acre ranch out in Aspen, Colorado. He acquired the property through multiple transactions over a number of years, not unlike how he also came to own his sprawling piece of underdeveloped land looking out over the Pacific Ocean in a California beachside town. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Kevin Costner calls home. But before we get into that, please take a second to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to turn on your notifications and help our channel overcome the YouTube algorithm. Doing those three things won't take you much time, but it means a lot to us. Now let's get into this video. Starting with his first parcel of land purchase in the late 80s and quickly followed up by a second in the early 90s, Kevin Costner acquired 160 acres of rural paradise up in northern Colorado. Located only 10 minutes from downtown Aspen, Kevin's home is known as Dunbar Ranch, having been named so after Costner's character, Lieutenant John Dunbar from Dances with Wolves. And after buying up all that land, Costner rolled up his sleeves just like John would have done and got to work, building himself a ranch lover's dream come true. By the time he was finished, this property would boast three amazing standalone properties, a main house, a lake house, and a river house, all of which, when combined, can accommodate up to 34 guests. For starters, let's check out Costner's 5,800 square foot main residence where he has spent a lot of important family time with his children and his current wife, Christine. In fact, Kevin would go on to explain his family's special connection with the place to Closer Weekly, telling them, it's just beautiful with three lakes and a river running through it. My whole family spent some of our best times there. Some generic, easy to miss gates are probably the most unassuming thing about this place. Moving through them and up a long and scenic driveway, visitors will pass through a rugged terrain of birch and pine trees to the secluded main residence. Not to mention it sits on a grassy hill overlooking the rocky bank of Roaring Fork River. Once you finally step foot inside of the home, you'll discover a cozy, almost hotel-style front lobby complete with a wood-burning double side of fireplace. The rest of this six bedroom, six bathroom house is full of old fashioned charm, warmth, and a cozy rustic comfort. Meanwhile, rough exposed wood supports columns while ceiling beams are balanced against premium grade materials and perfect craftsmanship. The dining room features chairs that are slip covered in relaxed cardboard colored linen while under a pair of delicate chandeliers boasting teardrop crystals. And then there's the star of the house and no, it's not Kevin. It's 
it's actually his primary suite that not only contains a stuffed mountain lion in a well-lit niche just above the master bed, but it also contains the coolest hidden room imaginable. By pulling back the giant rug covering the floor in front of the bed, you'll discover a secret trap door that opens to reveal a wooden staircase. Where does it lead? Oh, just to one of the estate's three hot tubs. The views down here overlooking Independence Pass and Aspen Mountain are to die for, especially when you turn on the waterfall and combine them with the relaxing vibes of that jacuzzi. As for other highlights, this multi-level home also includes a chef-style kitchen complete with a five-star team of private chefs, as well as countless living areas, dining rooms, a bunch of entertaining spaces, and a whole host of outdoor patio spaces. Speaking of outdoor spaces, you just know a man who's made not one, not two, not even three, but four movies about baseball has got to have a ton of outdoor activities. Kevin not only has lakes to kayak and paddleboard on whenever he feels like, but he's also got a space to practice his archery. I mean, the man was Robin Hood after all. To top it all off, he also built himself his very own baseball field, where he simply must recreate key moments from Field of Dreams, Bull Durham, or For the Love of the Game. Let's just hope he doesn't use any of these lakes to recreate Waterworld, because nobody wants to see that. And guess what? Kevin isn't the only one with the opportunity to do those things. Now you can too. If you have about $36,000 lying around to spare, that is. That's right, over the past couple years, Costner has put his entire property up for rent as his busy shooting schedule for Yellowstone kept him out of the town a lot and renting other people's ranches up north in Montana. If you and a group of, say, around 33 other friends can pull your money together, that means you'd only have to spend around $1,000 each to spend the night here to skate on Costner's private ice rink or go down his snowbound tubing track. You can even get some dog sledding in, not to mention some skiing if you're visiting at the right time of year. And if it's summertime, how about some horseback riding, hiking, fishing, or any of the other activities that Costner has had installed on his property. Basically, this is everyone's chance to live like a Hollywood A-lister. When not spending time with his family in Colorado or working in Montana, Costner also visits his 10.25 acre estate state located on a bluff in the beachside town of Carpentria, California, which is about 10 miles or so outside of Santa Barbara. It's here where Kevin maintains an eye-popping collection of properties made up of three side-by-side -side oceanfront homes. Much like with his Colorado ranch, Kevin acquired the first of these homes in the late 80s, the second in the late 90s, and the third just a few years ago when he shelled out $7.3 million for an updated three-bedroom residence with amazing ocean and coastline views. Prior to that, Kevin had increased his acreage when he spent $28.5 million on 17.25 acres of undeveloped bluff top property overlooking the Pacific in 2006. At the time of purchase, there were several smaller homes sprinkled throughout the large open space, which was largely used as a polo practice field. In 2009, Costner would sell off around seven acres of that land to his neighbor for $25 million. Then he put the rest of the land up for sale as well. But with only pine-sized cottages located on this 10 acres, it wasn't enough to entice buyers with a $60 million asking price. After keeping it at that price for the majority of 2017, Costner would reduce to ask $49 million in 2018, but it still didn't sell. Eventually, he took it off the market and the entire estate remains in his portfolio to this day. As for the interiors of the homes that Costner owns in the property, well, they've been kept private. When he listed the land for sale, he only provided photographs of the exterior of the home. According to the listing agent, Kevin had once planned to build a bigger residence here with a guest house and a pool as the existing home he uses most often has only two bedrooms and one bath. But he ultimately decided against the upgrade. All right, friends, that's gonna bring this latest Kevin Costner house tour to a close. Please be sure to let us know what you thought about the actor's gigantic estates in the comments down below. As usual, thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all another time. Bye.